Hi everybody, Audra here, your Twisted Chakra with Odds and Ends Boutique. And tonight I thought I'd finish up this project that I had started a while back. And I um, just got a little busy and never finished it. So this is just a piece of wood that I acquired from somebody here in town. She's got an awesome little shop where I can get all kinds of little things that I need. Um, as a matter of fact, I just recently found this at her shop. Look at that. She had a whole bunch of these. And so I grabbed a bunch. I grabbed about 12, I think. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm just in love with these. I gotta paint it. I have to look, figure out how I wanna paint this to make it go with this. And then I will probably use, whoops. Wow, oh, that really rolled. Maybe this pumpkin that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Or maybe this that I picked up at Dollar Tree and turned it into a pumpkin. Or I have this pumpkin that I found at a thrift store. And I may do something with that. So it's going to be a three-piece project by the time I'm finished. I thought about doing two leaves, but I think I'm just going to do one. Because the stencil I plan to use for tonight is right here. It says autumn leaves and pumpkin please. Pumpkins. Autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. If I can read, we'll be doing good, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take this stencil and I've already written on the back since I've already used this a couple times. And I'm going to put it on this piece of board. I didn't grab my oh goodness. I folded the corner over and stuck it to itself. And normally this can be just undone with cold water, but I'm going to, I don't want to get this wet right now because, let me pause this so I can do this one moment. Okay, I got it apart. So now I'm going to place this on here and I'm going to put it over to the side because I want to embellish with ribbon and I've picked a bunch of different options here and I'll play with it a little bit when it comes time. So I'm going to place this over um, to the side and basically work out all of the air bubbles. And so this is up a little high here and, and it comes down to the bottom here. I might move it a little more. No, because when it stands up, I plan to stand it up like this, okay, with the accessories. I've made a few of these. They sell pretty quick. So I need to finish this one up, and I'm going to be preparing a board for a, for a hostess who's hostessing a make and take in September. I'm so very excited. So she's going to do one of these for herself. I'm going to use... Almond latte on this. This is um, a little on the lumpy side, which is fine. I can still use it. Well, last time I used it, I left it out a little, left it open for a little while, longer than I should have. Um, in one of my previous videos that I recently did. My first video I did after not having been on for a long time. So, I'm going to stir it up. I haven't received my tool yet. As soon as it gets here, I can't wait to try it out. So I can stir this up really good and have it nice and smooth. I don't have the patience to do this by hand. It takes me a long time. I've, but, it still works like this. It just works better when it's nice and smooth. Okay, I will need a squeegee. I'm going to just, all I have to do is scoop some out, place it on here, and squeegee. Now it's better to go at a 90 degree angle like this when you're, when you're putting it up when you are applying it and then when you are removing ex excess you will go up straight up and down 
to help scoop, scrape it off. <sighs> See if I can talk today. <laughs> so then, um, when you are applying the paste or the ink, depending on the project you're doing, it's best to, as much as possible, just go in the same direction. Um, you don't want to do this kind of motion or criss this way and then this way and crisscross. It can leave unwanted. Ooh, I probably should have done the pumpkin and the leaf in a different color. For tonight, I'm going to do it this way because I'll have the leaf and the pumpkin standing by too, and there's going to be color in the ribbon that I put on it. So I'm going to rush through this as much as possible, and I may pause a time or two because I learned that this foam will only do 33 minutes and 12 second videos. So once I do that, once it reaches that point. It just clicks over to a new video, and I don't want to be doing these in two parts. It's kind of hard to keep up. It'd be hard for you, I mean, to, to watch it to its finish when you're having to do two parts. It's just crazy. So, I'll do my best to keep it all in one part. So I was removing the excess, putting it back in the container. Very little waste. These last a very long time. And then I'm going to peel to reveal. This board, as you can obviously tell, was painted. And after I painted it, I waxed it. And the wax had plenty of time to dry because I've just, it's been a few, several weeks since I did this. Okay, look at that. Autumn leaves and pumpkin peas. I have to go rinse this. I'm gonna pause you and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I rinsed it. I rinsed off the non-sticky side first. I just flipped it over, rinsed the sticky side off. I used this to wash the chalk paste off of the stencil. And now it is on the counter, laying on a towel, sticky side up to dry. And uh, when I get up in the morning, I will put it back on the backing, this side, the shiny side, and place it back in the wrap. Now the wrap, when you order your stencils, will every single one will come with a little sticker on the back that gives you the care instructions, use in care instructions. So you don't have to remember all that, it's all right there, every time you order a stencil. Okay, I'm gonna dry this a bit and then, make some corrections that I want to fix. Alright, so here it is now. Right here on the T. I'm seeing something that kind of went up a little too high, so I'm scraping it off. So I fixed it just like that. Okay. Now the A. The A is a little imperfect, but it may have something to do with that little knobby right there in the in the wood. Okay, so the stencil wasn't on absolutely right because of the unevenness of the surface, which is fine. Didn't doesn't need a whole lot of fixing. And then the P, right here, you'll see there's a little bit of bleeding. I probably had an air bubble that I missed. So I'm just going to scrape it off a little bit with this manicure stick. It's pointed on one end and flat on the other. Comes in handy for cleaning this kind of stuff up. When there's more space, I use the flat end because it just makes it go faster. 
and um, less chance of scraping too much. So you can see there's, it's gone now. And then, um, let's see, the S is going to be imperfect because it fell right on the crack, which is fine. It's a piece of wood um, in its natural state. I'm cleaning it up just a little bit. Actually, with the, with the pointed end, I was able to get a little bit out of the crack so that it looked a little straighter and more even. Take this little tiny piece right here. And there you have it. All right. So now, I am going to pick some ribbon to put on here. I think I'll throw... I have one with pumpkins. But it just kind of washes out, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna pause this while I try to pick something. I will be right back. Okay, I'm pretty sure I picked what I want. So, while I had you on pause, I went outside and sprayed, if you can see the shiny stuff, sprayed some clear coat on it so I wouldn't have to take the ribbon off. So now, I'm going to put this. I like to tie it, to measure it, before I cut it, because I want as little waste as I can possibly do. So, by doing it this way, I'm able to manage that. Okay, so, um, I'm going to cut about this much. Definitely pretty. These two I'm going to cut like that. This one, I think I'm going to do the same thing. two big rolls of this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. This is my favorite. Got this on Amazon. Two big rolls. This is smaller than what it used to be. All right. I'm going to take this. This is the clear coat. I didn't dry it enough. So just to make sure I cover it up. All right. So, I'm going to put this here like this. Maybe I'll do it like that. Nope, I'll do it like this. I'm going to take these. I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can. I'm watching my time. I got 14 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm doing okay. All right, that there, this here, and then this, like this. I'm 
I'm going to turn this inside there. Okay. If I had wider stuff I could use, that would be great too. Right, so these are still too long. And I don't like the point going that way, so I'm going to cut it this way. Fingernails getting caught on it. So I think I want to add a little something different. So I'm going to pause you for just a second. Definitely, I want to add some brown. So I think I want to put it in here like this. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back up. As a matter of fact, I could just now hold on. I have an idea. I want to tie this first. Then tie these two. So we have just kind of a little starburst of ribbon. the there we go the knot up a little more there and what I'll do is I'll glue it down so it stays in place you don't have to go through all this trouble of sealing and gluing if you would like to reuse your board you can just take it off and look at that I think that turned out really cute so autumn leaves and Pumpkins, please. So now I have to decide. I think I will do a leaf to go with it. Maybe right here. I'll have to paint it. That one's not going to stand up that way. Here's a smaller one. And it could be my mat because I warped my mat and then I used the heat press on it. So, um,. Yeah, so I'll paint this and get it ready to, to stand with it. And then I have to see, I think I'll probably end up painting that pumpkin. This pumpkin's cute, but it's I think it's too big for this particular one. And this is a cute idea. We could change this into um, Oh, I just had a thought. this and I think this would be cute happy fall on this or on this happy fall with that autumn pumpkin please happy fall um, anyway so I'll finish that up I won't keep you on here um, to do that because there won't be enough time but what I will do is when I finish it I'll take a picture and I'll and I'll post it as well with the video 
So there you are. Simple as that. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. And um, if you're interested in trying something like this out, just let me know and I will send you a free sample kit. Just message me and we'll get together um, online, <laughs> I'm sure. And I'll send you a sample kit. Or if you're interested in learning how you can earn extra income while you are doing things like this, um, whether you do it alone or you add it into stuff that you already do, just let me know. Um, and I'll be happy to send you in some, some information. Okay, well, thank you again and good night.